Hi there, Kutkov here, with a new video on Forge Networking in Unity. This will be the last Forge Networking video for a while, since I explored most of what I needed to know. However, never say never again. So what will this tutorial be about? It's a full game, only using Forge and Unity 2018-2 out of the box. So I will be able to make the full project available through GitHub. First, let's take a quick look at the game. We have a host and a client, and on each we have a player. The objective of the game is to score points by shooting projectiles at a wall of cubes using the spacebar. If a green cube falls on the floor, player 1 scores, and if a red cube touches the ground, player 2 scores. You can move the aim using the WASD keys, and you have 60 seconds to win. I've documented the code and I've created a few slides to explain how the game has been designed. Here's a slide showing the concept of the game. It's always a good idea to draw a plan of what you're going to build first. Keep it simple first, then expand once you've got the basics up and running. The next slide is about the core objects. Let me explain how the game objects work together. First on the host, we have the game manager, where player1 is created. Player1 instantiates its own aim object. Once this is done, the game manager creates the cubes forming the wall of cubes. Note that all physics will be done on the host only. As soon as the client connects, the game manager on the host creates player2. This player is owned on the client and creates its own aim. A network copy of both is created on the host. In the meantime, player 1, its aim and the wall of cubes are replicated on the client 2. If a player presses space, a remote procedure call is used to create a projectile on the host and a network copy on the client. Using simple projectile motion physics, the projectile is shot towards the aim object and with a bit of luck, it hits the wall of cubes. So you can download the code through the link provided in the video comments, and have fun browsing through the code and running the game yourself. If you like this tutorial, then please vote it up, and a new video on non-player character AI is in the works.